start over again because that sucked. Hello Fandom Alliance and welcome to our new review on our channel called Tea Snobs with your hosts King Chalice and Van Lubenstein. <laughs> what are we doing today, Van? Well, to start it off, uh, we'll go with a little explanation of what we're doing here. We do have two two samples of tea that we've got from Teavana. Now, kind of a little thing behind this is I was in the mood to look for a subscription based on tea, which is one of my favorite things. So, I walked into a Tivana on one of our little outings, and I, you know, you know what? I am looking for a kind of a subscription thing, and the person behind the counter goes, "We can do that." All right, all right sign me up. This, this we can. <laughs> this we can do. So, starting off, we're actually going to use what? Let's see what do we have here? This is the mint chiller. The watermelon mint chiller from Tivana. Most pretty much everything in here is organic, and we've got our glasses set up for this one. So you want to take the first sample? Well, I, I do want to point out that we do have this. It's look-wise for the tea itself, it does have like a chunks, little chunks of like fruit and tea leaf and stuff like that. And I'm half tempted. You know what? I'm not even going to be half tempted. I'm going to try. To see, these they claim that this is all organic. So if this is organic, I should be able to eat this with no problem. Right. Good luck. That has a very potent flavor. Actually, no, it's very subdued. Until you get it right there, and then it's like, yeah. That is really good. That is like a box of drag fruit. What? What is it? What I don't know. <laughs> that's, Prin that, that's, that's Princess Mimi on the other end of the thing. I'm She's camera woman for the day. Yeah. We, 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 yeah. But I could not tell you what fruit that was. I think that was a melon pit. I think there's uh, blackberries and stuff in there too. This this looks bigger, like a big chunk of dried wood. So I'm gonna try this one real quick. Ben Lupenstein, why don't you try one? I'm leaving that to him. <laughs> it's like a piece of really really spiced up bubblegum, which is odd because that's kind of what it tastes like. See, I know we got. I can see some lemongrass in there. Uh, there's definitely some berries. I bet that was kind of probably one of the berries. Well, try it. Try it and find out. You try it. I'm okay. leaving this part to you. The, the piece that looks like, you know, that. Here, I'll zoom in. Okay. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. And of course, we'll. That looks like either a raspberry, because it's kind of has multiple lumpies. They said lumpies. Not very berry ish. No, it's more like it's more like burnt, like a burnt something. But it's good. It was good. I bet we'll, you I could eat that whole plate. No. We'll but, post, but we're gonna drink it. We're gonna drink it. Instead. We're gonna drink that plate. And on top of that, we'll post the ingredients to these as well. Yep. Yeah. We'll All do. Right. So taste test. Are we ready for this? We're ready. Ready for this? Okay. One. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yes, go for it. It's like liquid bubble gum. That's what I'm getting. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Not bad. Yeah, it's liquidy bubble gum. Like a, a melon flavored bubble gum. Have you had many melon flavored bubble gums before? Because I haven't. Yes, I have. There is such thing as watermelon bubble gum. I want to say watermelon. This is kind of like a maybe like an almost mangoish. It's stuck on my tongue. That's what you get for sampling the dried. Is no, there, I didn't there, have anything on my tongue before. Now I do. What is it? What's it like? I don't know. It's like all the only thing I could get out of it is like melon, melon, not just like not watermelon, just melon, melon. You know, like uh, the, uh, the uh, what do they call them? Oh, like what you get in the middle of the summertime, and it's got like the like pink cantaloupe. on the cantaloupe. That's what I'm thinking of. It's like a cantaloupe taste. Oh no, 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 this isn't too bad. It's it, it's one of those that I think I could I would enjoy if it was hot or cold. No, we we decided we decided to where we're gonna since it's called chiller that we were gonna put ice in it. But honestly, I think this would be good either or. You know what? I could probably drink this one without any sugar, no sweetener, or anything. 
Straight up. Not like the, not like the last month. Oh yeah, you. Well, you go and bring us the first. The the last one was like a cinnamony holiday mix. Which you you definitely wanted a little sugar with oh, this. Oh god, and lots of sugar. Sipping tea. It's got so much cinnamon in it. Thank you. Now, when you sign up for this, of course, what you get is this nice little tin um, for you to collect, set your tea collection in. The first one that I got when I signed up was a. Oh, that's the chai. There was a that cinnamon was tea. No? Yeah, the chai. Oh, the, the, was that the oolong? Yeah, the oolong. Because that's the only oh, one. Oh, yep, yep, this was it. It was a Marahari chai oolong. It's like probably pretty much preliminary. How would you say that? Primarily cinnamon. It was a cinnamon in any any. Can you let people see it? So I can zoom in. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to read it or so. But yeah, like anything else, we'll put the ingredients to this one too. Yeah. It, it is definitely something for sipping. Hold up the lid. So. Yeah, she show you the lid. Ta da! To you, the mom. All right. Yep. All right. Are we ready? Okay. So yes. Round one? two. We have this one. What is this? This is. Silver Yinzen Pearls, which silver, it, it's a white tea, ingredients are up. white tea, which, you know, I'm pretty sure there's more to it than that, but... Yeah, well, there's the ingredient list on the back. Yeah. And when you get this, you get these little itty-bitty ar aromatic little beads. And it smells really, really good, but at the same time, they look like wasabi bead peas, so... Yep. And then when you get them in the diffuser, they really bulk up. Oops. They open up and you can see the leaves themselves. Yep. And... Which I thought was kind of cool because, you know, you get something that looks like this going in, and you get something like this that's coming out. Very theatrical for tea. Okay, wait a minute. That's what I would say. <laughs> there there is... get, get the picture of the tea. Getting the picture of the tea. If you yeah. stop moving it. Go ahead and just set it there in front. we go. Places. No, you have to pour it. That's right, we do. All right. right. We are going Let's to pour. Get to this. It's a pour with the tea. Tell me when. Start with a little, little bit. Let's try that. We've got two cups worth here. Vaughn, I mean, it's not like we're going to run out. Oh, smell it, it kind of has a very, I like a nearly green tea kind of smell like to it. But it's yeah. a white tea. Why it's does a it smell like <laughs> green tea? It smells like a green tea. Is there anything bitter about it? I mean, the smell. Hey, sure, you're drinking it. I'm just blowing on it. No, he's drinking very gentle. You're drinking it and you didn't even give me a countdown. No countdown. Just How bad countdown. are you, sir? Just do it. That's my philosophy. <laughs> Touche, so I'm going to play it. Is that is... Wow. That doesn't even get an accent. That's just loads of no. You don't like it? I do not, sir. I do not like it. To me, you know, now that you smell a little more, it's kind of like a spinach kind of smell to it. It, it does have, bad. yeah, it's not bad, but I'd rather eat my spinach than drink it. There's it, a very... Does it smell like spinach or does it taste like both. spinach? Both. It is both. Go, Hang see. on. Ingredients. Um, white tea. Reba. White tea. <laughs> Type of tea. Yeah, it's white tea. I will be darned. All right. You know, I bet probably pull one of those leaves out. You can actually see what the leaves themselves look like. Yeah, it probably it looks like spinach. It's it's spinach. I guarantee you, that's what it looks like. And that's what I'm. It that's has what a I'm, spinach like smell to it, but not not the taste to me. It, it's it's a different taste. I don't know, sir. I'm just I'm not excited for this tea, and I'm still drinking it. <laughs> Why are you still drinking it? Maybe this would be the one that you'd put some sugar with. No, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I can't help it, but it's just, it's not, it's not my cup of tea, so to speak. Well, it is. It's right in front of you. Yeah, that's your cup. True, true. That's your cup. True. That's tea. Therefore, it is your cup of tea. <laughs> it doesn't mean I have to like it. There, that's what you should have said in the first place. Well, excuse okay. me if I'm making so, a tea reference joke. So out of, out of the, well, we got two of the sample, and there's three in total. Out of the... We'll say out of the three, what would you go for the most? If I had my choice, it would be that. Me as well. It's got a nice taste to it. It definitely doesn't need any sugar. Nothing like to sweeten it up. It's all there in the cup. 
the bouquet is comforting as well as the taste and even even the look. I mean, it is this going in looks like wasabi peas, which is not something that I like. Coming out, it looks like spinach. Smelling, it tastes like spinach, or it smells like spinach. And the taste is somewhat reminiscent of spinach and filtered through dirty gym socks. <laughs> Just is, a personal that your, opinion. That is your opinion, yep. Oh, so See, scale of one to five. One to five, we'll start with and spinach the, is not an answer. <laughs> we'll start with the cinnamon. I would say with the cinnamon tea, the, the oolong. The oolong that I started with, probably about a three if you put sugar with it. Maybe four. I, you know, I think we should grade these without the sugar. So no sugar? It, it, we've got to grade these on what they are, what we are giving. So with the cinnamon one, maybe it's like a solid three. For me, the cinnamon one would be a solid two, because admittedly there are certain times during the during the winter months that I'm feeling a little festive. I get my little I get my little elf hat on, I get you know jingle with it, and I want something that reminds me of Christmas. So a little bit of cinnamon tea is not that bad, but like right now we're coming up on Easter, it's just yep. not, not good. Um, this I think out of my range it would be this, followed by the cinnamon, then Jim Sock too. <laughs> I do agree, even though I, I like all three of them. Uh, just, again, this one's just it's right for this for this year. Yeah, we are it's just in that time where fruit is the thing, and that's what we got. So hey hey. Yep. There you go. Well, thank you all for watching. Next month, what, what is next month? That's April. What is it? What is, what are we, it's already April. This, April, April, April box. this is the March. This is the, the March pack. This is the March box. The one, the so, one that we have here, the two that we have here came in March. So you assume we have in April. Yep, yes. so April will be coming up. And when you do, let's give you a hint if you guys want to do this yourself. You go to your local team and you sign up. I did the entire year, which is about $250 total. You get the 10, you get the, the uh, proper size tea scoop. And of course, you can pick yourself up a nice diffuser. This is this is King Chalice's. It's actually pretty decent. I like it. It's simple enough, and it was it was on sale for twenty two. So at half price, I got it for eleven. Yep. And so. of course, if you if you're the one that likes to throw a lot of money at things, you can get one that actually has the T press, which is just that strainer that's in here. And it's further, just, it, yeah, it's like it's like a uh, like a French press. Yep. Alrighty. So, thank you all for watching. We'll see you again next time. Later.